welcome back. I have just set up this with the Gel X short stiletto and I've set up from the thumb to the pinky and I will put in the description the actual sizes that I used. These will actually match my hand. Definitely choose what you need. And this is Swinging by Sweden and Ice Cream Use Cream with Marshmallow. I will be using the number four Oval Light Elegance brush to apply this. Now, you would of course start this either on the prepped and already prepared with gel nail by using the tack. On here, tack is really great for preparing tips for whatever you're going to need to do them, especially if it's going to be press on, anything like that. You want to make sure that your product bonds well to it and tack will prepare these tips beautifully. I don't even have to pre-file these. Tack will not only create a great bond, but it will etch into the tip so that it makes it quite easy for me to work with. And then I'm going to use the Marshmallow Color Gel. It is sheer really a great color for doing milk bath and it's beautiful for opals. Now I forgot to mention Tac does cure for 30 seconds and so will the marshmallow and the all of the color gels and the glitter gels. Just note if your color is really opaque such as white, black, pastels, anything that's been softened with white you'll want to do quite a few layers. That way the light can get through, penetrate, and cure properly. Now once done, I will cure these as I stated for 30 seconds. And I'm going to actually put a second coat. I still want this sheer, but because this is going to be more of the white opal, I want to make sure that the base is a beautiful sheer white soft color. So as you can see I do have the second layer on them and I'm going to do a couple with the ice cream use cream to start and a couple with the Swinging by Sweden to start. This will give you the advantage of seeing how it will change the look of the opal. The ice cream use cream gives you more of that pink blue look and Swinging by Sweden gives you that more of the yellowish pink look. It depends on what type of opal that you prefer, that you enjoy. So I'm gonna let you watch. This is going to be quickly done and I did speed this up. That way the video would not be too long. I will mention that I recorded this set on one of my clients as well as on myself. Unfortunately for some reason those recordings disappeared into Opal Opal land. I have no idea where they went. I looked everywhere. So that's why I'm doing it on these sets. You will see the finished images as my nails and I'm also going to tag on the end of this a set of blue opal that I did on one of my clients that I actually did find. So enjoy. I am going to, as I stated, apply the different colors right off on the different sets of nails, Swinging by Sweden on some, and the ice cream use cream on the others. I will cure them for 30 seconds and then create another thin layer on those very same nails but with the opposite colors. I'll be back.
Now, when you're done, especially with the glitters, I always mention when you want to clean your brush, definitely squeeze the product out of your brush. You don't want to use cleanser, it'll dry out the bristles. You need them to stay nice and supple. Once these have cured, I'm going to apply a very thin layer of the marshmallow on top. Again, mentioning the milk bath nails, same type of system, just no flowers. Now I've already applied one coat of the marshmallow and it's nice and sheer. You can keep it right there if that's what you would like. There's a specific look I'm going for. So I am going to add a second coat and because I have the happy accidents of always smacking my hands into nails that are still uncured, I am flash curing as I work. Kind of like when you work hand-to-hand, -hand, nail to nail on your clients. This just makes it easier. I'm not having to edit out the fact that I've smacked my hand into it again. Especially with uh, my having it on this magnetic circle and them so close. Now once they have fully cured for 30 seconds, I will, while in there, of course, clean everything. But now is when you want to clean the inhibition layer or the excess gel off. Leaving that on in between each layer helps them stick to each other and that way nothing peels up, everything's perfect. If you were working on your client and say doing the sandwich technique, this is when you would do that. Now remember we have made sure each of these layers are very, very thin. So if you are doing the sandwich technique, you are not making them too thick. You're going to go ahead and put your structure in, everything like that. I am actually treating these as if I'm not doing a sandwich technique, I've completed this, and now I'm going to go ahead and file in the way I kind of like to have my opals looking. Again, as I stated, I did two layers on top of the marshmallow. My favorite looking opals are the fiery opals where you kind of have that white milky cloudishness, but I also love when the on the sides, in the middle, or you just catch an edge where the light hits that opal, and that's the brilliance just that comes out of it. I am filing, not to remove all of my, the marshmallow layer, but definitely to even it all out but also so that some of the glitter can peek through. You're welcome to take a buffer and just smooth out your white and keep that milky opal look. It's a gorgeous look. You'll actually see that milky look on some of my nails which are in the end image with the lipstick or box cutter shape. That's my favorite shape on me. I don't fit inside a box, I fit outside of the box. 
So I'll let you, I'm going to be filing this. I'm going to speed this up. So I'll let you watch and I'll be back again. Now, once all of those are filed to how you like, definitely cleanse, remove all of that dust because soon we're going to be doing the top coat and I'm going to do just a little bit of nail art on this. As I stated, since I lost the other footage, it's going to be different nail art then I believe I'm going to put in, I may actually not put my nails in since I didn't do the video on that. I know I've been talking about it and I apologize, but I'm going to go ahead and just make sure these and the blue opal ones get in at the end. So you can see those finished images so there's no confusion on the images at the end. So I'm going to use Super Shiny. You can use Matte Velvet. Um, love both. And I'm sorry, it's Flat Matte is what Light Elegance has, not Matte Velvet. And I'm going to make sure it's applied to each one. Now, a great tip with using the Super Shiny is if you notice as you are coating the nail, that there might be a dip in the on the nail that you just didn't catch with your file. Um, you did artwork and it's just not smooth in an area. You can take a drop of the Super Shiny, balance that area out, it'll self-level, and voila, nice and smooth. The Super Shiny cures for a full 60 seconds. Don't overdo it, otherwise you won't have any shine. Don't underdo it, otherwise it will look cloudy. Now I'm going to be using the primary white along with my striping brush and my altered striping brush. Now what I mean by altered is I removed a few of the hairs so that I have a thinner brush. Once these cure, I will get started. All right, now I'm going to start with what would be considered the thumbnail. And as you can see, my filing has allowed quite a bit of the glitter to show through, giving that fiery opal look, along with the milky look. So I want to accent both of those. And I'm using the primary white along with my striping brush, cleaning it up with the block brush and on one side over the fiery look, and I apologize that my, my own hand is covering, so sorry about that, but I'm going to take and create angled striping. That's how I envision this. Now I didn't plan out these nails. Most times when I'm working on myself, I don't plan them out. I just go with what inspires me and I have clients that require me to do that. Now I do very much recommend that you do a 10 second cure in between each just to make sure that you don't mess up in case of cleanup. So as I'm working on this I think I would like to do the, these angled lines a little bit closer together and then create some gaps because I'm not really liking how they look too close or have too much width. It's covering up too much of the fiery of the opal. So, hmm. Definitely want to thin the lines down some. And then, let's see, yeah, I think I want to do a thicker line, a thinner line, and then a gap. Much better. Always make it yours. 
I hope I just I'm able to inspire your ideas, your your magic as you work on your nails or your clients. I love the Light Elegance brushes. They are wonderful. And as you can see, I work without the caps on the back. Some people like to use extended or long-handled brushes. I don't, when I'm working on nails, that really is not my cup of tea. So I like the fact that I can reduce the size of my brush handles. Now on this one, I really want to separate the fiery and make the milky part of it really stand out. Hmm. All right. And now I want to do the stripe. What do I want to do? All right, following what I just did, I'm doing a thick stripe, and then I'm going to do a thin stripe. I like the look of that. Now I do periodically clean off my brush because I don't want it to be, you know, gloppy while I'm making stripes. It makes them look really bad. So remember, as I said earlier, when you're using white, really make sure that they get a good cure because they're so opaque. So yes, you can do 30 seconds, but when I'm striping, I like to do 60 seconds, maybe even 90 seconds, just to make sure that they do not peel off or have uncured gel underneath. Now with this one, again, I want to emphasize the difference of the milky and the fiery. So I'm just going up around the cuticle area and just doing this circle. I'm not going to color that in or anything. Now, a trick that I always use when I'm doing striping is I like to go over it a few times. What that does is it takes the bulk out. I'm able to make sure everything's nicely coated without adding, dang it, there's something in this. A hair. I have cats. Sorry, guys. But if you go over it a few times, like I said, it takes the bulk out, smooths down the line, and when it cures, there's not so much gel there. So I have that in for curing, and I am going to... This nail is more milky than anything else. So I'm going to go across the nail, just so that it's the pinky. I'm going to draw a little bit of attention to it because of the difference. Still doing things on an angle to match the other ones. But I think on this one, I really like doing scroll work, and I try to do that in almost all of my nails. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. No. Line work. As much as I like doing scroll work, I'm OCD, so line work. All right, those have cured completely for their 60 seconds. And I did off camera go ahead and cleanse them and now I'm just going to arrange them as if they're going on the hands. Now, like I said, at the end, I'm gonna make sure that there's a picture. Next, I'm going to work on Heather. She loves the blue opal. 
So I'm going to use Sisterhood along with the same colors. Instead of Marshmallow, I'm using the Sisterhood. I'm going to let you watch and I want to thank you for spending your time with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ring that bell, and have a wonderful day.